In this video, I'll be giving a tutorial on the Joy Messages plugin for the Invite Tracker bot in the dashboard. Keep in mind there are timestamps in the video description below if you want to skip anything since I'll also be covering problems you may be having and giving in-depth explanations on everything related to this plugin. The official website for Invite Tracker is invite-tracker.com which is what has the dashboard to configure plugins for your server. Once you're at the website, you'll see a login button at the top right corner. If you haven't already logged into discord.com with the browser you're using, it will redirect you to Discord's login process. That's because Discord can't recognize an account to use for logging in. Once you've logged in, it will redirect you to the home page where you then can click your avatar in the top right corner and click my servers in the drop down menu. Here you'll see all the servers you have administrator permissions in. If you already invited the bot to your desired server, then find your server in this list and click the dashboard button for that server. If you haven't invited the bot yet like me, then find the server you want the bot in and click invite the bot. This will create a pop-up to invite the bot to the server you selected and it will also ask you to authorize the bot to be able to use slash commands in that server, which you need to do because the commands won't show up for invite tracker when you click forward slash in the server channels. Once you click continue, then it will ask you to allow the bot these listed permissions. What you also need to do because Invite Tracker can't properly do what it needs to do if these aren't allowed. Keep in mind that also includes channel overrides. If you don't know what channel overrides are, um, then I suggest clicking the link in the video description below for an explanation on channel overrides. Otherwise, you can skip a lot of the annoying work by just giving the bot administrator permissions. After you click authorize, you also might be asked to authorize that, are, that you are human. After that, you'll be redirected to the same place as those that had the bot already in their server. Now we're going to be clicking the configure button in the join messages box because this video is going to be covering the join messages plugin. You can see that Invite Tracker already has a selected channel for join messages to be sent in and has filled out a message with some variables to use for the content of the join messages. Although there won't be any messages sent yet because this plugin is disabled by default. So let's enable it and test it. You can see that Invite Tracker is already sending messages with the pre-filled message in the pre-selected channel. Now most likely you're going to want to change this, but before we get into that, if you didn't see a message show up in the pre-selected channel, then your channel overrides are wrong. So to fix that, either give the bot administrator permissions or fix your channel overrides. To give the bot administrator permissions, click the down arrow in the top right corner and click server settings in the drop down menu. From there, click roles and search for the invite tracker role. Once you found it, hover over the role and click the pencil to edit the role and then click the permissions tab. Finally, search for administrator and toggle it on and save the changes. To fix your channel overrides, right click the channel the dashboard has selected for join messages to be sent in, then click edit channel and select permissions. From here, you click the plus sign and search for invite tracker. Make sure to select the user, not the role. So we are overriding other roles that are messing with invite trackers permissions potentially. Once Invite Tracker is selected, scroll down and hit the check mark for view channel, set messages, and embed links. And then save the changes. Now back to changing our pre-filled message and pre-selected channel. To change the channel of where the messages are getting sent in, we'll first create a new text channel called Joy Messages. Now let's head back to the dashboard and refresh it so the Joy Messages channel is recognized. Once refreshed, simply click the channel it's currently selected on and search for the name of the channel you want the Joy Messages to be sent in. Once you find the channel selected and save the changes. Finally, let's test it. To change the message that is getting sent, simply click the box in the Join Messages plugin and rewrite it to whatever fits your needs. 
I'll be pasting a message that I'll leave in the video description below that includes all of the variables in a join message except a couple that aren't needed for the context of this message. Now let's test it. Since this message is formatted as a sentence, it can be hard to read the provided information, so I'll leave the formatting up to you. Also, if you're wondering about the documentation for the variables, just simply use the variables command to get the link for invite trackers official variables. As you can see, each row contains the variable, its description, and what plugin you're allowed to use it in. Since we're currently configuring the join messages plugin, you would only be able to use the variables that have the join keyword under the where to use column. I'll also provide the link for the variables in the video description below. In our new message that was logged, you can see information regarding different types of invites. The first number being used that is, isn't in parentheses is the total number of invites, which is calculated by the formula of regular plus bonus minus leave plus fake, which leads us to the invites numbers in the parentheses. The regular invites are added to the inviter every time someone uses their invite link to join the server. Unless you have the Verify plugin enabled, in that case it wouldn't count it as regular invite until they verify. The left invites are added to the inviter when someone who joined with their invite link leaves the server. The fake invites are added when someone joins with an account age of 3 days or younger. If you have premium, you can change this number in the invite tracking plugin, but also keep in mind they'll still be getting a regular invite even when there is a fake invite added. So if you look back at how Invite Tracker calculates the total, inviters won't be getting any invites when they invite an account that is three days or younger. The bonus invites are only added manually by administrators or those with their management role, which is configured in the administration plugin. To manually change them, there are added there are the add and remove bonus slash commands. Another feature in the Joy Messages plugin is using embeds instead of play messages, which is restricted to premium only. To use embeds instead of play messages, simply toggle on embeds and fill out the fields as you wish. To demonstrate this feature, I'll be using all of the field available fields available to use in an embed and showing you the results based on what's displayed when the message is sent. Once again, instead of writing all of these messages out in the different fields for the embed, I'll be pasting the messages that will also be left in the video description below. Now, let's test it. Lastly, you can see that there are different types of join messages, like vanity, bot, no perm, and unknown. We won't be configuring those messages because it's going to be the exact same process that we did before with the normal message. Although there is one side note that the variables listed in the documentation for join messages are only 100% relevant to normal messages. For example, all of the invite var variables for vanity, bot, no perm, and unknown messages will be logged as the raw variable instead of um, the data regarding the variables used. That's just because there is no inviter for those types of messages, and keep in mind that's only one example for variables being logged as raw variables. So if you want to know what variables are truly available to you, 
then you'll need to do some live testing with an alt account instead of doing the testing in the dashboard like we've been doing. Anyways, I do want to explain why these messages would show up, including the normal message, which we configured. So the normal message, the normal messages are sent when a user or bot generates an invite link and someone joins the server using that link. Keep in mind, if you have the verify plugin enabled and the person that joined doesn't verify in time, then there won't be a message sent. Now for vanity messages. That would only occur on level 3 boosted servers because you need to be level 3 to have a vanity invite link which is like discord.gg slash server or discord.gg slash invite tracker etc. Keep in mind you can't customize this without premium but you'll, but you'll still get the default mes message sent for vanity invites. For bot messages, you can customize this and it'll occur whenever someone authorizes into, into the server, like previously I did when adding invite tracker in the server I'm configuring. The no perm messages you can also customize and that occurs whenever the bot doesn't have the managed server permissions for the channel the invite is for. An easier way to fix this would be giving the bot administrator permissions like demonstrated before. Last, we have the one and only unknown, which can be painful at times, but there are reasons why it's occurring. Some of the reasons are fixable, such as fixing the permissions of the bot, which is the same situation that I previously stated with the no perm messages, or the invite has expired when it was used. To fix this, just simply make sure you and your member are, members are creating permanent invite links that don't expire. In meeting, you'd, when creating an invite link, there's an option to select no limit or a usage, but once that usage comes down to one and it's used, that invite link would be unknown. Also, timestamps don't matter because there is no situation where a timestamp is at zero and someone joins. That's pretty rare. Um, and then now the situations where you can't do anything um, is if you have lots of people joining at the same time or the bot has recently restarted and the bot's custom cache didn't have your server's invites. Keep in mind the caching issue will only happen once for your server whenever the bot restarts. Um, and then, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty much covers everything under the join messages plugin. If you have any questions, just join the support server in the video description below. Thanks for watching and I hope the video helped you and take care.